These photos are from the invasion of Saipan in June and July 1944 by the 2nd and 4th Divisions of the U.S. Marines. The ground battle against Japanese soldiers lasted three long weeks with 23,000 Japanese soldiers killed and 5,000 U.S. soldiers dying in the combat. Another 21,000 U.S. Marines were injured. Lack of early coordinated plans by different branches of the military made the battle for Saipan a bloody and difficult goal to achieve. But on July 9th, the island was secure. And soon, B-29 airmen like First Lieutenant James Stafford would arrive, along with nearly 4,000 Super Fortress bombers, the largest warplanes ever designed and built for war. Stafford's crew position was bombardier and navigator. He flew 37 missions in his aircraft, Pride of the Yankees. And as a youth, he attended Woodrow Wilson High School in Dallas, Texas, and was a member of the ROTC Company D. He graduated and attended the Army Air Force Navigation School in San Marcos, Texas. Afterward, he trained in, in Kansas to navigate the new B-29 aircrafts. As a bombardier, he sat between and in front of the pilots at their feet, navigating the aircraft until he found targets using the new and top secret Norden bombsight, which could help determine almost instantly ground positions relative to the aircraft's speed, wind direction, and the plane's altitude. It took many missions to directly hit targets, but eventually the difficult navigation systems were successful. The Norden M, as it was known, was a highly secret device navigators had learned to operate in the opening days of the conflict in the Pacific Theater. But other issues challenged the thousands of B-29 bombers as they came off the production lines and were flown from the United States to Saipan, Tinian, and Guam. The powerful engines were prone to overheat when the airplanes were fully loaded with weapons. This unplanned shortcoming resulted in some planes ditching in the ocean just off the rocky shores of Saipan's Isley Field, as well as the airstrips in Tinian. Pride of the Yankees incurred the destruction of two engines, twice, on two different flights en route to Japan. At one point on its return to Isley Field during the 1,500-mile flight, according to Stafford, only one engine was left in full operation. The B-29s arrived in the Marianas Islands on December 11, 1944. 3,970 of these Super Fortress aircraft were manufactured at Boeing and in other plants in Renton, Washington, Wichita, Kansas, Marietta, Georgia, and Omaha, Nebraska. Earlier engine problems with the huge Wright 2200 horsepower engines were finally resolved when the Pratt-Whitney engines were developed toward the end of the war. Once the B-29s began arriving in the Marianas Islands, there were greater needs than just the flight crews. Service members included ground crews for each aircraft, replacing destroyed or damaged engines, replacing parts in the planes damaged by flak, fueling and oiling, all of these constant needs. Support crews had the responsibility to keep airstrips clear and repaired. Electricity and water had to be readily available. Training continued to improve the navigation to routes which included dozens of targets across Japan. The Norden bomb sites made targeting easier, but bombs often missed those targets. Jim Stafford's crew flew 37 complete missions to targets in Japan in Pride of the Yankees aircraft, but two additional completely different crews also flew missions in that same airplane. Three crews rotated in and out of most bombers, and when not slated for flight, they lived in one of hundreds of metal Quonset huts on Saipan. The Enola Gay carrying atomic bombs was stationed on nearby Tinian Island and delivered the war-ending payload on August 6th and 9th, 1945. But the 10 months before August 6th were filled with daily raids of 3,000 miles of round-trip air flights. The 8th Air Force suffered 26,000 deaths in the air-related casualties. Japan officially surrendered on September 2nd, 1945. Saipan has been the home of the American Museum, which tells the story of U.S. servicemen and women during 1944 and 1945 on the tiny island. Today, Saipan is a tourist spot for Australians, Koreans, Japanese, Americans, Filipinos, China, and Russia. 
snorkeling, swimming in grottoes, hiking cave exploration, the monuments on the north end of the island facing Japan, and bonsai cliffs where many Japanese jumped to their deaths rather than to surrender to American forces are sacred memorials for visitors that visit Saipan. Stafford's handwritten bombing ledger records the horrific events now years gone by. Like many servicemen and women, James Stafford was honored with medals like the Air Medal and the Distinguished Flying Cross. 20,354 U.S. Army Air Force soldiers earned this award in their service in the war effort. First Lieutenant Stafford was a lifelong real estate and insurance salesman from just after the war until his passing in April 2011. He served as board member of the Texas Board of Realtors and president of the Garland Board of Realtors in Dallas County. He is buried with military honors in the National Cemetery in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He, like all other servicemen in World War II, are remembered with great love and appreciation for their commitment and their courage on behalf of all Americans and the global community. They were courageous men, hearts full of American pride, and willing to sacrifice everything for freedom of the world.